Our next speaker was not able to be with us in person, actually, which is a little ironic because as a stewardess, she is a world traveler, but unfortunately, her travel documents did not come together in time for her to be with us in person. But Joanna Bacalo is a youth leader working with Wimler Foundation in Hong Kong and the Philippines. And she's here today by video to talk to us about her work advocating and being an activist on issues related to water and sanitation. So let's take a look at the video. Thanks. Go up, give an introduction, and you're coming down. I will walk up on the left. I will carry it. Okay, great. And I will, um, I will introduce. Has challenged me to witness the lives of the local population who experience water scarcity and discomfort. My excitement, thirst, and education through travel experiences turned my movement into traveling with a purpose. With goal number six of the United Nations Sustainable Developmental Goal, ensuring access to water and sanitation for all as my compass, I went back to my home country, the Philippines, and shared these knowledge with the intention to affect positive change. I paid attention to the remotest, most vulnerable indigenous communities and penetrated them through elementary schools. Good morning, we're in Mount Kulik Elementary School, and these are my children, these are my students, and was able to teach them basic hand -washing. Individuals and organizations alike resonate to the cause despite coming from different advocacies. In our community work, building partnerships with individual initiatives and other key players are diverse and dynamic. Informed and open-minded decision makers working together with local government units can support water investments. Education-centered organizations like Classrooms ng Pag-asa, The Storytelling Project, and one portrait brought about different dimensions and color to each program. NGO partners such as Wimler Foundation Hong Kong and the Philippines set foundation for groundwork and celebrated companies like Art Dubai fueled each project by believing in the potential of growth. By advocating awareness about the impact of lack of water, sanitation, inadequate access to wash services that are direct linked to diarrhea and cholera, I found myself telling stories outside their community. The remote villages I have visited are only a minute part of the 4.5 billion people who drew water from threatened supply. Diarrhea is an effect of poor sanitation and hygiene and is still the world's number five leading cause of death despite the nature that it can be avoided. Behavior change is a challenge to improve hygiene. The teachers are the catalyst to this change through the school there is an open dialogue between communities and families to approach sanitation and end open defecation and even eliminate the stigma of menstruation. We are able to affect their school curriculum in health promotion. Water cuts across health issues, the environment, energy and agriculture, but also about poverty, gender and human rights. There is a massive gender dimension in water as women mostly lack ownership and rights to water. When women take part in the water decision making, sustainability is ensured. And as we know, they don't only empower their families, but the whole community or tribe. Micro entrepreneurship can empower displaced household and women implement the tools to grassroots solutions to global problems. Whatever industry we participate or work for, we are in a position to disrupt and contribute to solutions to these global issues. I strongly encourage everyone 
to put women and children in the forward of the agenda for development. The life that flows everywhere is water. No one should be left behind.